Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see the solutions of exercise 2.1. Okay, so see here, find the degree of each of the polynomials given below. So degree means highest power, right? So here 5 is there and 4 is there. So what is highest here? 5. So here the degree is 5. And here x square plus x minus 5. So what is the degree here? 2. And this is constant. Okay. So for constant degree is 3. And here what is the degree? 6 is there. 3 is there. So highest to power 6. And here 2. And here variable is t. Right. So it is t power 1. So degree is 1. Okay. These are very simple problems. That's why I am writing in our textbook only. Next, our second one, which of the following expressions are polynomials in one variable and which are not? Give reasons for your answer. See here, one variable, that means the polynomial should be in x, okay? And the polynomial should be in y or the polynomial should be in t. That means only one variable can be seen in the problem. See here, first one, 3x square minus 2x plus 5. So, how many variables you are seeing? Only one, that is x, right? So, this is polynomial in one variable. Here also only x. And come to here, coming to here, p square minus 3p plus q. q also is there. So, this is not polynomial in one variable because there are two variables are there. So, this is polynomial in two variables. And see fourth one. Here only one variable is there but this is not a polynomial because it is in the denominator, right? So the power should be non-negative integer. Okay. So this is not a polynomial. Not a polynomial. And fifth one. 5 root x plus x root 5. And this x root is for x only right so first of all this is not a polynomial next x power 100 plus y power 100 there are two variables x and y so this is polynomial in two variables so here in our second question what are the polynomials in one variable first one second one okay and fourth and fifth are not at all polynomials and th 3 and 6 are polynomials in two variables. So in third problem, write the coefficient of x cube in each of the following number. Okay. So I already told you in the introduction what is coefficient. Coefficient is just a number before here they are asking coefficient of x cube. Right. So coefficient of x cube means it is a number just before x cube okay so see here first one x cube plus x plus one so what is the number before x cube one okay there is no number but actually it is one right so here coefficient of x cube is is equal to one okay you have to write like this coefficient of x cube is equal to 1 okay so like that and see here before x cube there is minus okay so this is minus 1 so in third one root 2 x cube plus 5 so here before x cube root 2 is there so here coefficient of x cube root 2 and coming to fourth one before x cube there is 2 is there right so here coefficient of x cube 2 and fifth one here what is the coefficient of x cube before x cube there is pi by 2 right so here coefficient is pi by 2 and here simply minus 2 by 3 the number just before x cube okay and here there is no x cube right so coefficient of x cube 0 
and here here also there is no x cube so in that case also coefficient of x cube zero okay so like this we can write the coefficient so in the fourth one classify the following as linear quadratic and cubic polynomial okay so in the fourth one classify the following as linear quadratic and cubic polynomials okay so if degree is 1 that is linear polynomial and if degree is 2 that is quadratic polynomial if degree is 3 that is cubic polynomial okay so degree means highest power see here first one 5x square plus x minus 7 what is the degree 2 so this is quadratic polynomial and here the degree is 3 so this is cubic polynomial and here also degree 2 so this is quadratic polynomial and in fourth one degree is 1 so this is linear polynomial and here degree is 1 this is also linear and here degree is 2 so this is quadratic polynomial so if degree is 1 that is linear if degree is 2 that is quadratic if degree is 3 that is cubic polynomial so in fifth problem write whether the following statements are true or false justify your answer a binomial can have at the most two terms okay if your polynomial has two terms then only it is a binomial right so true okay next second one every polynomial is a binomial okay so every polynomial is not a binomial right so there may be monomial or uh, trinomial or multinomial polynomial may be monomial binomial trinomial or multinomial okay this is justification next our third one a binomial may have degree 3 yes it may have true first suppose a binomial means two terms 3x cube plus 1 and 3x cube plus 5 or 5x cube plus x plus okay no only binomial means two terms with degree 3 true okay and next uh, so fourth one degree of zero polynomial is zero so it is false why degree of zero polynomial is not defined so degree of zero polynomial is not defined okay and here fifth one the degree of x square plus 2xy plus y square is 2. Yes, here the degree is 2 only. So, this is true. And our last one, pi r square is a monomial. Yes, there is a single term. No, there is no plus and minus. So, this is also true. So, sixth one, give one example each of monomial and trinomial of degree 10 okay one monomial means simply x power 10 and trinomial trinomial means there should be three terms so 3x power 10 plus 5x square plus x okay you can write anything but the highest power should be 10 it's a monomial and it's a trinomial of degree 10 okay so like this we can solve our exercise 2.1 it's actually it's a very very easy exercise okay